Hello everyone, welcome to VMware Arena YouTube channel. If this is the first time you are watching video in this channel, please do subscribe to the channel. Also click on the bell icon to receive the notification about the new videos which I am posting about VMware virtualization and other virtualization technologies. In this video, we are going to talk about a deep dive into vSAN upgrade. We are also going to analyze what are the prerequisite checks which we need to perform before we attempt to upgrade your vSAN cluster on disk format okay so upgrading on disk format is very important as like uh, how we upgrading an ESXA version to the latest because once we upgraded the on disk format version to the latest then only we can make use of the the latest features which is available with that particular vSAN version okay so uh, along with that I'm also going to explain uh, two different ways to perform on vSAN upgrade so one is via v, uh, vSphere client and another is via a Ruby vSphere console, which is on command line. We can manage all the things, most of the uh, vSAN related stuffs from the RVC command, which is Ruby vSphere console. I'm going to explain you how to perform that. Um, so don't skip the video, watch till the end. Okay, let's get started. So before we attempt to upgrade on uh, our vSAN cluster, we just need to ensure that uh, our vSAN server is upgraded and it is running with the latest version. In the previous video, I have explained about how to upgrade your ESXi 6, sorry, your vSAN server 6.7 to 7.0. I have also explained how to, uh, you know, like converge your external PSC to an embedded uh, PSC during an uh, upgrade so my vSAN server is upgraded to the latest and also ensure that all the ESXi hosts in that particular vSAN upgrade is upgraded to the latest version so in the previous video I have also explained how to upgrade your ESXi from ESXi 6.7 to 7.0 using a lifecycle manager uh, I also explained how to create a baseline attached to the ESXi host and perform on uh, uh, ESXi upgrade using lifecycle manager upgrade baseline okay so if you didn't watch that video just uh, I'll put it in the I card. Please uh, watch that video. Okay, so my all the ESXi host is upgraded. It's showing five five host are compliant. Uh, so it is showing all the ESXi version is 7.0. So we have upgraded the vSAN server. We have upgraded the ESXi host. Next is to run on health check vSAN health check so if you go if you select the cluster click on monitor under the vSAN you can see on vSAN uh, v, uh, under the vSAN you can find on uh, skyline health so it covers most of the health um, checks uh, for the vSAN cluster so it checks for the hardware compatibility it is showing VCL uh, vSAN HCL database up to date uh, is error because I don't have an internet connectivity to the vSAN server okay that's why it's error that is perfectly fine so it shows the error about the disk format version uh, which is an older version that is absolutely fine once uh, our ESXi host is upgraded we have to upgrade the vSAN disk version so as of now the vSAN disk this question is 10 so in this video we are going to upgrade this once upgrade is completed this health check will be green next is online health check it is same like I don't have an internal connectivity to my visa server that's why it should uh, even for a visa and build recommendation is showing red so just ensure that you have all the physical disk disk capacity capacity overall health component limit health everything is green under the network physical disk i know like capacity utilization performance services all these things so basically this covers most of the you know like uh, health checks uh, related to the vSAN cluster so if if uh, uh, so if you want to rerun if you fixed anything you can just click on retest to rerun the vSAN health check just to ensure that everything is green before we attempt to upgrade the vSAN cluster okay so apart from that we can also check uh, some of the you know like uh, the physical disk and disk group health just to ensure that uh, uh, click on the monitor tab and click on physical disk so we'll find uh, all the disk health so just to ensure that uh, disk health is healthy and also the state is mounted there are sometimes it may be healthy but it is not mounted so we need to consider this and just validate i think most of the things will be captured in uh, vsan health check but uh, this is an additional check because uh, it may not uh, uh, it should not create an any issue during a vsan upgrade right so that's why we have to perform this uh, checks manually just to ensure all the disks are mounted and the state is healthy here 
and also ensure that uh, none of the ESXi host in the vSAN cluster it is in maintenance mode. So when we place the maintain ESXi host into maintenance mode, so that particular ESXi host will not consume the storage to the vSAN data store, right? So before we attempt to upgrade, just to ensure all the health checks are clean and uh, none of the ESXi host is in maintenance mode. Also ensure that we have enough free space in the vSAN data store because when we upgrade, we need a little space for uh, you know buffer to perform the vsan upgrade just to ensure that you have a um, at least uh, you know like um, a 20 or 30 percent free space in your vsan data store before we attempt to upgrade next one is um, to perform the upgrade just uh, go to click, select the cluster and click on configure under the disk management uh, we can see that um, uh, there will be an option like all uh, 15 disks are uh, version 10.0 yes so it is um, it is yet to upgrade so once uh, with the vsan uh, 7.0 the version will be 11 the disk format version will be 11 so there is an option called pre-check upgrade and uh, um, upgrade so before that let's go to um, resync job because vsan performs uh, resync operations whenever uh, we place the esx maintenance mode or deploy a new virtual machine or you make a changes to the policies so it resyncs uh, uh, it resyncs the disks and data uh, across the other ESX hosts in the vSAN cluster okay just to ensure that there is no resync objects and uh, uh, so you can also click on the capacity to identify what is a free space available on that vsan data store okay let's go back to the uh, upgrade so just click on configure and go to disk management so we have a pre-check upgrade uh, you know like um, so if you want to run a pre-check before we upgrade our vSAN cluster we can just go ahead and click on pre-check upgrade this validates most of the things in the cluster it, it validates the health of the disk disk groups health of the ESXi host and uh, other health checks like whether uh, disk group is healthy disk is healthy uh, the network and all these things are healthy so so it just validate everything and just to ensure that uh, ready to upgrade pre-check completed successfully with the green tech mark is available right so now it's showing pre-check completed successfully if if you see any error in the pre-check it will be listed out here so we have to fix that error um, before we attempt to upgrade and the other thing also just to ensure that the, all the virtual machine policy which is applied to the virtual machine all these things will be um, yeah, compliant as per the policy okay so for that you can just uh, go to the storage policies just select the policy which we applied to the vSAN data store just to ensure the compliance all the objects which is applied is compliant so as of now my disk group version is 10 so once uh, the upgrade is completed it will it will be upgraded to the version 11 as per the uh, vsps 7.0 okay so all the disk group we validated and next uh, so to perform an upgrade you can just simply click once we run on pre-check upgrade we can just click on upgrade it will be upgraded right that is a one procedure second procedure we can perform an upgrade using ruby vSphere console to access the ruby vSphere console we have to log into the vCenter server using ssh just log in with the root password of your vCenter server appliance log in with your password root password let me clear this so access the ruby vspa console just type rvc in short term it is called as rvc so with the rvc command we can perform most of the operation including health check run reconfiguration configuration disk addition uh, disk stat um, upgrade everything can be performed using ruby vspa console just host to connect just type local host we are connecting to the uh, vcenter server only so by default it takes a sso um, username administrator at vspa.local just enter the password for the sso admin okay now we have to go to the local host just type uh, cd so each of the uh, objects will be mapped with the number so we don't need to type the entire local host just type instead of that uh, cd1 it will go to the local host okay let's type ls it shows my data center which is lab in dc so we can just uh, put uh, cd 
iPhone 0 to go to the data center if you have multiple data center it will be useful so next we can manage storage computers networks data stores and VM apart from uh, vSAN we can also manage that so I am going I am interested in the computers just CD1 LS so it, it lists out all the vSAN clusters which is part of that vSAN server so I have a one uh, cluster called lab iPhone vSAN 01 which is listed here so to manage the cluster from RVC, just CD0, which is a lab vSAN 01, CD0 LS. So further, we can go to an individual ESXi host to get the stats. Also, we can just uh, stay with the cluster to, perf uh, to perform an upgrade. We have to stay with the cluster. Okay. So just type vSAN dot and space. It will list out all the command space which is available under the um, vsan uh, namespace in the ruby vsp console okay so there are a lot of things we can perform you know like vsan debug we can disable the vsan cluster we disk information disk statistics enable the vsan enter the vsan esxa host into the maintenance mode so i am just running an uh, a cluster statistics right so it, it if i run a, a cluster stats it lists out all the esx hosts in the cluster and which is the master node what is a cluster uid node uid what are the disk it is contributing uh, to the vsan what is a uh, auto disk climb mode all these things will be displayed right so if you type vsan dot uh, so basically to perform an upgrade the command is vsan dot uh, v2 The first method is perform an uh, upgrade from the VSP console. It's a simple click. Just click on upgrade. It will automatically start upgrading. And second method is via Ruby VSP console, right? As I said, uh, to upgrade command is vsan dot v2 underscore on disk underscore upgrade. Just put a dot because we are already in the lab vsan cluster. So if you are in a different cluster, we have to switch back or provide the path to the cluster just hit enter so it will list out all the ESXi hosts um, and its state is connected and ESXi version is 7.0 and it's telling what uh, number of disk groups which is with the current uh, version 10 disk group uh, version 10 so target file system version is uh, v11 so it will be upgrading it from the vsan on disk format from version 10 to version 11 so it will perform uh, upgrade of each of the disk groups in the ESXi host one by one and uh, you know like it also upgrades uh, vSAN objects like virtual machine uh, contents and multiple objects in the uh, it will be treated as an objects in the vSAN data store uh, VMDK everything all the objects will be also upgraded to the version 10 so you can go to the task and events you can see convert disk format for vSAN task will be there and you can see that update vSAN configuration for all the ESXi hosts in the cluster and it will make changes on the uh, disk groups one by one um, so basically uh, this on this format as I already explained right so this is very important we needed to upgrade our vSAN cluster to the latest on this format to make use of the future search which is available the latest version of vSAN okay so the upgrade is um, it will be checking all the it performs all the pre-checks as well when we perform from RVC as well just to ensure that the pre-checks are uh, good um, as we did it from the vSP client okay so hopefully um, it would start upgrading uh, disk groups as so the task is still going convert disk format from vSAN is still going on um, so so basically yeah it attempts to upgrade um, a vSAN uh, format on uh, disk group one by one uh, you know like there will be a no downtime to the virtual machines if you have performed a pre-check and if you validated all the pre-checks which we explained in the in this video uh, so just carefully validate ensure that uh, we are running a consistent version of ESXi in the vSAN cluster so the upgrade is going on it is 62 percent uh, so all mounted disk groups it is uh, just scanning and it is performing an upgrade yes so done vSAN upgrade it um, so it also um, perform on disk format conversion uh, is uh, completed it also upgraded the objects which were in the vSAN data store it performs upgrade uh, of uh, the object version from v10 to v11 so done vSAN upgrade let me refresh yes so now it is showing with the green check mark all 15 disk are version 11.0 so earlier it was with the version uh, 10 
uh, with the 6.7 so we upgraded our ES6 host from 6.7 to 7.0 and also we upgraded our vSAN on disk format the vSAN cluster upgrade from version 10 to version 11 so now it should show that all the disk group um, version the disk format version will be 11 so with a green check mark and we no more have an option called uh, upgrade vSAN or pre-check okay so uh, we can uh, We can go back to the vSAN health check just uh, you can rerun the vSAN health check so obviously the health check which is reported about the disk format version should be green now once after the upgrade we can validate that as well okay just scroll down um, even after upgrade just to ensure that your health checks are green okay um just read and the retest the health check uh, once you performed on visa and upgrade just ensure everything is good after the upgrade so now the disk format version is showing green now after the upgrade earlier it was showing on warning message so um, check result is green and uh, everything is upgraded to the latest version our cluster health is good so Yes, as I said, uh, it is recommended to run a retest once uh, we perform on vSAN upgrade just to ensure the cluster health is good, right? So we have uh, successfully upgraded the vSAN cluster. We can also get the disk format version from the RVC. So we can run a disk uh, stat command. Uh, for example, vSAN I, uh, dot disk underscore stats dot will be running against the cluster because we are in the cluster view just uh, hit dot and hit enter so it will collect the information about uh, all the disk and its statistics in the cluster let me reduce the font size so that we can read the entire table format okay let me reduce the font size to a little smaller so that we read the entire format of disk stats come here. let me rerun it disk stats to the cluster it shows in a beautiful format it shows uh, ESXi host and what are the disk which is uh, part of the ESXi host it shows whether it is a cache tier or capacity tier it shows what is the capacity of the disk and it is also in the in the last uh, you know like column you can see the status health it shows uh, okay and it also shows the current version of the on this format with this version 11 so the disk stats looks good and everything is healthy and everything is okay with version 11 so uh, this is uh, the two method two different method we can perform an upgrade okay so one is via and vSphere client so if you are not familiar with the RVC we can perform on vSAN, vSAN upgrade just with the simple clicks we can also um, you know perform initiate an upgrade from the vSphere client we can monitor the status usually if you have any issues in the upgrade right it will not be displayed uh, in your uh, vSphere client so to get the status of the vSAN upgrade we can just go to the RVC command and uh, we can run the cluster upgrade status command to get the uh, upgrade status what is the progress it is going on where the particular issues there are all these things we can get it from the ruby vSphere console uh, so we have successfully upgraded our vSAN cluster and vSAN on this format from uh, version 10 to version 11 we are up to date um, i hope this video helps you to understand the detailed process uh, thank you so much for watching please please do subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell icon to receive the notification